nearly 100 years ago, an astounding discovery was made in one of the least expected places. Mine workers, blasting for lime near Taung, in what is now the northwest province of South Africa, dislodged a small humanoid skull, partially still embedded in rock. To find ancient bones in this way was not an uncommon occurrence, and many fossils sat on foreman's desks or on mantelpieces. But this particular fossil was to have a greater impact than as a mere curiosity. It, in time, would go on to rewrite the story of our human origins. In 1924, it found its way into the hands of Professor Raymond Dart, who immediately recognized it as something special. He named it Australopithecus africanus, or Southern Ape of Africa, and published the find the following year as a new human ancestor, to much criticism from his academic peers. The prevailing notion at the time was that humans had originated either from Asia or Europe. Other paleontologists argued that the fossil was clearly the remains of a creature more closely related to the extant great apes than to humans. That it was the skull of an infant was clear. But the issue lay in the fact that skulls of infant apes look very much like those of humans. But this fossil had two very human features which drew attention. It lacked the large canines expected of an ape. Instead, it possessed more human-like teeth. And the area where the spine attaches, the foramen magnum, was beneath the skull. The Taung child walked upright. Slowly but surely, other experts were swayed to accept the possibility of Dart's finding. The number of paleontologists who agreed with this interpretation grew. And, after the 1947 discovery of another Australopithecine fossil was made in the region by Dr. Robert Broom, several well-respected scientists in the field announced their agreement with Dart's conclusion. Vindicated after so many years, the discovery of a transitional form, part way between apes and modern humans, shone a spotlight on South Africa and on the area to be dubbed the Cradle of Humankind. Scientists have been investigating and excavating at a number of sites in the region ever since, yielding hundreds of fossilized hominid remains. These include Paranthropus, the Neo-Human, other Australopithecines, and even specimens from our own genus, Homo ergaster and Homo naledi. Recent findings from just one cave site suggest that, for a period of about two million years ago, some of these early hominin species existed alongside one another. Together with fossils of saber-toothed cats and ancient plant life, their remains are a window onto the world of our distant ancestors. Today, South Africa boasts one of the world's richest sources of hominin fossils, drawing experts from all over the globe. The clues uncovered at these sites reveal a still unfolding narrative, one that has its beginnings at the very dawn of the human story.